find the potential difference between... I'm going to stop you for a second. It asked you to find a what? Uh, potential difference. The potential difference. Is this a term I, I have used class in this class today? No. What term have I used? Electric, electric potential difference. I will do my best to always refer to it as the electric potential difference because by definition it is the electric potential difference. Oftentimes you will see it referred to as simply the potential difference. You might also see it referred to as the electric potential. This is not giving you the complete statement. I will do my best to always call it the electric potential difference, but be aware sometimes you might see it called either the electric potential or just the potential difference. Please. Between a point instantly far away and a point 1.0 centimeters from the proton. So we have a proton. Here it is. We have a point 1 centimeter from the proton, which we're going to call right here. This is our position final. We have our initial position, which is infinitely far away. I will get as far away as I can on the board. Nope, it's already there. Our initial point. Oh. So we're going from a point infinitely far away all the way to this point right here. And we're trying to figure out the electric potential difference. We have three equations for the electric potential difference. Which one are we going to use this time and why? Pooja. Tell me what it is. Again, as you said, because we have a point charge, we're going to use the one, the electric potential difference for, for a point charge. Please give me, Andy, all the numbers here. KQ over R. I don't know what. How do you raise 10 to the power I don't know what? 10 to the 9. Yep. And then Q is it's a proton, so it's going to be positive 1.6 times 10 to the 19. And then R is uh, 0.01. Again, I pointed out that we can do that simple conversion in your head to so 0 0.01 meters. Nick Lack? It's 1.60 times negative. It's a small number. It's negative 19, not a very large number. Okay. So we get the electric potential difference. Let's say things 1.4 times 10 to the negative 7 that was in volts. Yes, 1.438, yes? Yes. Okay. So, in other words, we have figured out the electric potential difference between a point infinitely far away, which I've illustrated right here at this initial point, and this point right here. If you recall, that is the electric change in electric potential energy per unit charge. In other words, we could now say, okay, what would happen if we took a particular charge, four microcoulombs positive, we placed it right here, we could then say, well, the change in electric potential energy as it moved from here to here would be x value because we would know q, we would know the change in our, the electric potential difference. We could figure out the change in electric potential energy. Once we had that change in electric potential energy, we could figure out the final velocity. 